Hello everybody and welcome yet to another video tutorial from Asian Network. Today I will show you how to uh, install some new hardware, some uh, external device, peripherals and so on to Windows 10. So let's start! When you have computer hardware like motherboard or hard disk or simply some peripheral like printer, web camera, external hard disk drive and else, each device needs some kind of driver on whatever operating system you are. Driver is basically software which tells operating system how to use the device. Installing new drivers on Windows 10 is very easy for most devices. Just plug device into a computer and wait till installation finished. One option is that when you connect this device Windows automatically searches internet for newest version of the driver, but you can turn this option off or on. That you can do by opening control panel, selecting system, advanced system settings, hardware tab and button device installation settings. So, if you want to update over the internet, click yes to use only the drivers that are already installed on a computer on Windows, just click no. But I will click yes, because I like when Windows automatically searches for new version of the drivers. Click save changes, ok and close. Devices that are already installed on a computer, you can view by clicking start settings, go to devices and you see all the devices that are connected to a computer. Uh, another version how to view devices just go to control panel and click devices and printers. Yet another version uh, with more details about devices go to control panel, click device manager and you will see what hardware is installed on a computer if you go view and device by container you will see devices like when you connect to another device you will see right here and so on for example I'm connecting web camera and as you see, web camera is started installing and notification uh, shows you that. When it finished, notification will show that Windows is finished installing this device driver. If you click on the, the notification, this, as you see, uh, device setup uh, is complete. Device Logitech has completed setup. That means that drivers are installed and you can start using this camera. But there is one problem. This camera uh, does not want to work anymore. I tested on few computers but today before I started recording this video camera was still working but now it won't. We can still, I can still try to see if camera still works, if it is starting working, but let's see. In initializing camera, and you see, no data from this camera available. Camera starts up, but something does not allow to send images from camera to computer. So camera is broken. Sorry that I cannot show you camera. Sometimes can happen that Windows cannot find any drivers for the for specific device, and you need to manually search, download, and install drivers if it is existing at all. So let's say that this camera does not have driver. When driver is not available, it will show as notification right here or notification here that Windows failed driver installing. And let's say that is the case. I will open 
internet browser go home and in search I will type in Logitech E3500 and as you see at very very first link is support logitech.com I know that logitech.com is main site for this manufacturer so whatever driver you are looking for first just try in, uh, searching by typing manufacturer and version of this device so let's click logitech, logitech support scroll down to downloads and under windows select operating system but sometimes as here older devices does not have newer drivers so if you are installing drivers that are made for let's say windows 7 8 or windows 8.1 on windows 10 operating system some drivers will still work and camera will be still working but uh, windows 7 is too old driver and all that the driver is more problems you can have with the device so many times i already have some devices that are not compatible with the latest version of windows let's say windows 10 and i tried to install windows 8.1 drivers it was working for a little time or it was not working at all computer started to experience some problems uh, blue screens, it will not boot properly and so on and I needed to manually remove this driver and computer st start working as it should I will cover driver installing and problems more in depth in some future video so when you select operating system you can just click operating system version I have 64-bit operating system and click download now the application will download and you can start installing it another device I would like to install is my printer which is all-in-one printer and scanner in one this printer is wirelessly connected to my router and so any device that is installed on network can use this printer so you can search driver for this device for this printer by clicking printers and scanners add printer and scanner and windows searches for any printer we need to wait till search is finished or when it finds this printer and as you see Windows did not find any printer, so what now? You can go more advanced option, the printer that I want isn't listed and click add printer using TCP IP address for host name, you need to know what IP address is for this printer and so on. But I will not doing that for now, I will try by downloading drivers from the internet. like. I showed before with Logitech again I will open internet browser go to home page in search oh, you can search uh, by writing URL tab or you can search right here whatever you want and just write my printer is Canon MX 455 and press enter and as you see the first version uh, the first link is Canon Europe support customer just click on it and here under the drivers you already have operating system detected which you see here uh, Windows 10 64 bit you can you just check what operating system you have if you want uh, some other operating system to download and what language of driver you want but I will leave English and here you have MX450 series MP drivers for Windows here you have 
what operating system supports here you have for xps printer driver but for, i will download this first one just click download click accept and download and we need to wait till this driver downloads you can click show all Now I will just click this printer driver. Now click next. Select region. Click next. Yes. It takes some time to go through this whole process, installing, detecting and so on, but be patient. Now I here have two types of connecting, via USB or via wireless LAN. I already connected via wireless to my router, my printer and I want this. But be careful, some devices, some printers needs to be connected via USB at first. Even if you want to wirelessly connect, uh, look at your printer's manual to see instructions. But for my version of printer, I can use just wireless connection. Just click next, turn on printer, my printer is already on, click OK, wait till search for the printer, finishes it, select printer, click next, and printer is installing. Click complete. And as you see, here I have Canon printer. And if I open document, I can type something. And if I want to print, just go file, print, select uh, printer uh, my printer also have fax so fax printer and scanner all in one but i want just to print just click printer if you want to select additional preferences of this printer just click preferences select uh, if you want duplex printing borderless fast and so on whatever you want click ok and just click print uh, printer start printing all is good. I'll click cancel because I do not want to print. Close. Let's save. Another device that I want to show you is external hard disk drive, which is which I connected right, right now. As you see, AS2105. This is external hard disk drive. And automatically will show select to choose what happens with remo removable devices. If no window opens like this one and you want this window to show up, just go to the control panel and click auto play. So here, uh, if it is unchecked, this window will not pop up. Select click save and that's it. Whatever external storage device you connect on a computer, like this external disk drive or USB flash key, all these devices gives you the same possibility to copy uh, some files, directories, to delete, rename and so on. So you can use these files and so on, just open your file manager and as you see here, I have this external disk drive and you can rename and so on. In this video I covered basics of installing some new device hardware from software side. But if you need any help, any help at all, just ask me, write a comment and I will answer the best of my ability. That was it for today. If you like the video, give thumbs up, comment the video. Of course, share this video with your friends, co-workers and so on, let the world know and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Only thing I want to say is, have a nice day, have a great day, 
have a blast and see ya bye bye